Hey guys, Link with Reformed Mac here. Today we are going to be going through the initial setup of DevonThink, creating your first database, going over a few of the options and features, as well as giving you a couple of tips and tricks to make sure that first database you set up is set up properly. So let's go ahead and dive right in here. First thing we need to do is click on File up there in the top left, New Database. Then we have to give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and call it Sample then click create. Once that is made, the next thing we need to do is get our information into DevonThink. Uh, a couple ways we can do this, we can go to file, import, and then we can do files and folders, bookmarks, contacts, or even you know Evernote, uh, whatever you wanna do. Uh, another option we have is to go directly into Finder and to grab files and folders that we want and simply drag them in to DevonThink. Now, depending on how big uh, those folders are, this can take a few seconds or it can take a few hours. So keep that in mind. I recommend starting small, get used to the uh, system and software, and then uh, start dragging in more and more after that. Now, briefly, let's go over the toolbar. Uh, we have some navigation options up here, as well as different view options and all this is customizable. You simply have to right click there on the toolbar, click customize, and then you're given this menu where you can drag new icons in and remove the ones that you find that you don't use a lot often. Uh, another important thing to note here is you can change the layout. So if you only want the icons, or if you only want the text, or as I prefer, the icon and the text. Once you're done, you can get back into your software here. Now, a uh, couple things about setting up that database. Um, we have the folder docs here. This is what we're going to call a top level folder. Now, DevonThink refers to these as groups. So you see under docs, we have keys and licenses, miscellaneous, professional receipts, taxes. Now, if we go to taxes, we have the drop down. So now taxes is going to be that top level group for these different years. Now in these top level groups, we do not want to keep folders or files. Um, we want to put all of those into these child groups. This helps the uh, DevonThink auto classify, which uh, you will probably want to use at some point. So it's best to set things up now. And that way that feature can work the best for you in the future. So if you see, we click on 2016, we'd call that a top level folder. And we have that empty 2017 and come down to 2018, we see we have some documents in there. So let's go ahead and grab these and put those in a more appropriately named group and get that cleaned up. Check 2019, and there we are, good to go. Another thing we wanna cover is uh, smart groups. Now you can create all kinds of different smart groups. Um, every database comes preloaded with this one that is all PDF documents. And now you see here on the right, we have different kinds. Now, when you're dragging in large groups of documents, you'll end up with several PDF documents that are not OCR read yet. So instead of saying PDF plus text here, it's just gonna say PDF. Now, one of the great things about DevonThink is that it can search inside all of your files. So we always wanna make sure that our PDF documents have been OCR'd. A really simple way to make sure that this is being done on a regular basis is to create a smart group for PDF documents that have not been OCR'd. And it's really easy to do this. You're just going to go up to the top menu, click on data, you're going to go to new from template, scroll down to smart groups, and click PDFs, not searchable. And then I always add an all to the front of it. This keeps it right next to are all PDF documents. And then if there is any, there'll be a number here to the right, which will let us know, hey, we need to scan these documents and make it easy for DevonThink to search them. Well, that's all. Thanks for joining me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see us cover something else, simply leave a comment below, letting us know what you have a question about, and we'd be more than happy to cover it for you. 